Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative with a very exciting Squarespace update for you. It's called the Shape Block and it's a new Squarespace fluid engine block that does basically what its name says. It creates shapes. This is such a needed feature from Squarespace, especially within this new fluid engine editor. It's so simple, but it's so, so powerful. Now, if you're not sure what fluid engine is, check out our fluid engine videos, which I will link below because we do have quite a few talking about what it is and teaching you how to use it. But for now, we're gonna jump straight into the shape block and I'm gonna show you how to use it and some different ways it can be used. Okay, this is just gonna be a really quick tutorial on how to use the shape block today. I am in a demo Squarespace 7.1 Fluid Engine site. So this is the only instance where the shape block will be available. So make sure you're using 7.1 Fluid Engine. And you're just gonna add it like any other block. So click add block. I'll just search for the shape block and throw it into your section. I'm just gonna press G on the keyboard so we can see the section fluid engine grid. And basically we can adjust this to any size that we want within that grid. So right now we're just looking at a colored rectangle or square and we can change all of these settings by clicking on this little edit icon. And this is where things get really exciting and fun. So we can choose different shapes. We can round the corners of a regular square shape and we can update the color. So let's jump into the shapes. You can have a look and see all of the different fun shapes here. And remember as well that these can be adjusted by dragging them horizontally or vertically. So for example, let's say I wanted to use this arch shape you can see that it's actually adjusting to the size of the box that I have on the grid. Now that's because I have this stretch button enabled. So if I untick stretch, it's going to just keep the arch at the ratio that it is in this example here. But if I click stretch, it's gonna stretch it out to whatever size I make this block container. So I'll click out and just quickly show you. It's gonna to stretch to whatever size I want it to be, which is very handy. And you can do that with any of the shapes. So if I wanted to do this diamond, you can see that it's stretching out to fill the container. If I wanted to do this star, it's gonna stretch. So that's what the stretch toggle on and off is all about. Next up, we've got color. So we can actually click on this color palette here and we can choose anything from our site-wide palette. So if you haven't set up your site-wide palette yet, you can do so up here in your site styles. And we have more videos about how to do that so once you have a color palette set site-wide, it's gonna show up here. So it makes creating consistent colors really easy. But luckily Squarespace has also given us a custom color for the shape. So if you do wanna use a different color that isn't actually in your palette, you can do so here. So that's very cool. And then the last really fun thing that I love about the shape block is that they added the ability to add a drop shadow. And they've also given us all of these drop shadow settings which gives us a ton of different options for what our drop shadow looks like. So we've got angle, distance, blur, and color of the drop shadow. So let me just play around with these and I'll show you what these look like. So I'm gonna change the color of this drop shadow just so we can see it a bit more clearly. So I'm gonna create this dark color. Right now it's set to a large angle, a big distance, and a high blur. So blur is going to basically fade it out like that. And if you choose zero blur, it's gonna be completely solid. So this is really cool because you can kind of create these 3D shapes. Distance is of course distance from the original shape and your angle is just what angle the drop shadow is on. So you can see you can change the angle like that. So tons of options here for what you can do. While this block seems super simple, it has opened up a huge range of things that you can do within Squarespace. I don't know why Squarespace never had a shape block before. It seems so simple but it's so effective and so powerful. So here's just some little designs that we created as an example of what you could do. So you could use the shapes behind text just as fun graphics. You can layer up the shapes on top of images. Here's another example of a shape used with an image. So layered up to create sort of a border style. And then you can create things like pricing boxes. So you can put your shape behind text to create layered graphics like this, which is something that Squarespace for some reason never had, but now they do, it's gonna make such a big difference to what you can design. So simple, but so effective. If you have any questions about the shape block, leave them in the comments below. 
Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.